Hello everybody, my name is Barry and welcome back to Doggy Doggy Literature Club Plus. Now this is episode 4, so this episode is really sad, so yeah, it's a, it's a sad story about a siri whole life. So I hope you enjoy this, please enjoy the video. Imagination, alright here we go, that's good, that's a good one. This is a really good one, okay. The, the poem I said is super good, Oh man. Okay. I'm the last one here again. Will you practice piano again? Yeah. Let's just focus on our event right now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Wait. Where is Sayuri? Where is Sayuri? Yeah, where is Sayuri anyway? Sayuri is sitting at the desk in the corner of the room. Look down at nothing. Hey, Sayuri. You space out again. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can't go and talk to everybody else. Is everything alright? Of course. It just feels... Like you're a little bit off. Jeez, you're so worried too much about me. Well, alright. If you said so, maybe I should ask Monica if she's noted anything about Soyu Sayuri recently. Brainwashed. <laughs> What's up? Have you noticed anything up about Sayuri recently? Oh, you think so? I can't say I noticed anything about her. Maybe there's something in her mind. Yeah, but she never really liked this. But this time when I ask her, she is really dismissive. I think I break, I think I broke Sayuri for some reason. Maybe she just have a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. What? I'm saying that maybe that things on her mind is you. Break. What? What the? What does that mean? That doesn't make any s- Oh no. How on earth would you come up with that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much but Sari talk about you more than anything else, you know. What? No way. Sari, Sari is always like that. She's always being full of sunshine. You're so funny, brainwashed. <laughs> that, that name makes me laugh every time. Oh my god, this is so one of the best game of all time I ever played. Because of that stupid name. <laughs> huh? I said too much. I'm trying to talk to her. Try not to think about it for now. Okay everyone, why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything's went back to normal. Sayuri, come on. This is the best one so far. Sayuri, you have been quiet, uh, had a little quiet today. Of course, everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. Don't worry about me, okay? Uh, you don't want to get closer to anybody else? Wait. Of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayuri. Sometimes I feel like you the only exciting things in my life. Well, what what the fuck am I saying? So sometimes I just see it to write when thinking about you. Sayuri. No. Bring what? Why is she crying? What am I just saying? <sighs> Wait, what? I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. It's nothing pretty much. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I'm gonna go home a little bit earlier today. Sayuri, Monica, I am just feel well, okay? I see you tomorrow. I didn't read your poem. What? Monica, what the fudge? Anyway, let's take a look today's poem. Sure. Haha. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Huh? So? You haven't been flirting with her, haven't you? Of course not. That's normal behavior there's no way i'm impressed this is my reaction it's not that like i'm impressed or anything i like all of those poem thingy but i like to walk home with her what the fuck does that mean that's normal just make sure i know how much you care about her i share my poem with you now right all right all right all right all right man it's so space out okay here we go here's monica ryan tip of the day that's not a good advice thanks for listening uh, that's not a good advice. Alright, Yuri! Let's do this. What is going on? Why Sai why Sayuri said that you were asked me to walk you home or something like that? You have definitely improved the writing over a course of a few days. Do you want to share your poems right uh, now? Oh, okay. Here. It's still the worst it's still was the hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. This is much cleaner. Just cannot force myself to read this. Thanks for sharing. Alright, it's Nasuki time. Let's do this, I want you to roast me, come on. Come on, girl. 
This, this one, all right, happened. Dang it! You punch, you elbow me in the stomach. God dang it! I don't like your poem anyway. Freak off. Nice, nice one. This is really happy and sunshine. It's really cute. I feel like I keep writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something was nice message for once. Okay, oh, okay, you three. We're all done sharing your poems, right? Let's decide what everybody will do in this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. Natsuki will make cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them and different flavors. As for myself, I'm going to paint assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sorry, we're helping me design them. And as for you, Yuri, you have beautiful writing. No, it's not beautiful. I cannot even read a single one word. Of what the freak poem say or whatever. Well, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so you make sure some banner and decorate and decoration to help set in the atmosphere. You'll be a wonderful helper, Yuri. That just leave you brainwashed. <laughs> Both Anasuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It will probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. Which means I'm a bitch. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. That's not bad. You could always help them uh, help me out as well. What he haven't really forgotten the the, the chair to spend time. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So Monica said that uh Sari and Monica spend time together to do uh, like doing some work over there. So which means they're working together. So go with Monica and Sari is the same way. Well, I broke Sari, so I'm gonna stick with this. I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go to flow with it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Monica said that Sari was helping her. Jeez. Yeah, like I said, do you really hate us that much? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I do hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Monica. Well, what a freak ever. Yeah, you pick. Uh, you picked me. Hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> Monica, you're the one who needs the list of all of us. <laughs> but you have Yuri as well. <laughs> but Ray was the one, was the one who. Uh, no, <laughs> it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It's technically, it's technically most our logical for Brain was to help uh you you two. So, I guess what we'll do. Baking is kind of hard, but I just don't know how to do some cooking or something like that. Also decorate. Oh, I like decorate. I definitely like decorate. Um, I think something wrong with uh Yuri. So now I'm gonna go with Natsuki and also I want to learn cooking. So here we go. Well, it's well baking sounds like uh, it could be fun. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. I hope to see everybody do their best, but with that there's nothing more for today i guess it's time for us to head out i started following monica and yuri go out the door chat between each other huh where are you going what you still need to figure out our plans for this weekend you literally wouldn't gone home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me i'm giving my number okay Natsuki gave her numbers. Okay, coming coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you are coming to my house? Well, yeah. I guess I will text you when you are coming over. When are coming over? All right, fine by me. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to come to my house on Sunday. If I just if I just go with it, then I have a good time. Nice. It's Sunday already. I haven't heard from uh, Sari since she left the club earlier. I have been worried about her in the back of my mind. I decide to visit Sari before Natsuki comes comes over. The house is quiet. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sari? Oh, there you are. I <laughs> pretty much. You haven't come over like this in a long time, haven't you? Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, uh, ain't you su supposed to see Natsuki today? Wait, how did you know that? Monica told me. 
It's only natural for her to keep uh, me informed about the festival preparation, right? Yeah, you're the advice person, that makes sense. Everything is about her behave is really uncharacteristic. That's no good pretty worst. What? This is my this is all my fault. What do you mean? If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feeling, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you shouldn't be worried about me at all. You wouldn't you wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have come here. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> I wouldn't I don't wanna come here anyway. <laughs> it's so mad. Nah, I just want to see you. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? No, it's not. That's not true. I'm getting punished by being so selfish. It just wants to torture me. What? What? Am I a torture mechan mechanic or something? What the fudge? What on earth are you saying? So tell me already. You already put me in a trap pretty much. You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I always been like this. What do you mean? You just seen this for the first time. Seen what? The thing is, I had already bad depression in my whole life. Did you know that? No. Oh, why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get up uh, up of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fu when I fully know how worthless I am? Oh, that makes sense. You're not worthless. What the fudge? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? That's what I feel like. Why, Sayuri? Why is it you are never told me about? Why, why you not told me about this? What the freak? It's almost feel like you have been betrayed by your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done anything I could to support you. You don't understand at all, pretty much. I still cannot... I still really love it, that stupid name. God dang it, why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, I would waste a waste of all about caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. That's why I want so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everybody in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. That's called love. That's, that, that's it. That's called love. That's it. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes me to help you to stop hurt from stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No brain wash. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that, that could help helped is everything could be like it always was but i was selfish i finally show you what a horrible person i am uh tears streak down suri's face i made you join the literature club because i was selfish um what why are you tearing again god dang it i'm not good at this okay here we go and i was punished by my heart hurting is in a way that i couldn't understand and now you came here and I make you hurt too. That's why I'm going to accept my punishments. Because I deserve every every last one. No, you're not. Huh? Brainwashed. Sayuri. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you are convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes make it worth worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everybody else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. Oh, I'm kind of sad right now. I'm reading this kind of freaking tear, tearing right now. I wouldn't have it any other way. Pretty <laughs> much, I, I, I just, I just cannot laugh right now. It's just like it's impossible to laugh. And this is really touching. Sorry, isn't hugging me back. No. Don't do this to me please don't do this i don't know if i'm doing this right i'm doing the right thing hey it's your choice not my choice if you have it in you to call yourself selfish then you have let me be selfish too no matter what it takes i figure it out i figure out how what needs to change i'll make these feelings go away and is there anything that you need to do uh, you need me to do you would better tell me. I don't know. I don't know. Janice suddenly finally pulled her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. 
It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings brainwashed. The only time I was feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. And it's really crazy and really scary too. Sorry, let, let me go. The festival is tomorrow. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Of course, this is this has been one or Natsuki gonna kill me. Oh, she's gonna kill me. Maybe I should cancel. I, you know, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along to help us? It would be fun. To my surprise, I already shake her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? It kind, it kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Look forward to it. If if I if I spend time with Natsuki, that like uh Natsuki, Natsuki is gonna kill. He she, she's gonna kill me. And say goodbye to uh, Say Sayuri and exit the house. On my way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it hard for me to keep thinking about it. it's when Natsuki <laughs> Natsuki is about to coming over too. <laughs> oh, this is so double. Before I knew it, she texts me and let me know she's outside my front door. Without delay, I open the front door uh, to let her in. Ah, oh, there she is. Sup? Yeah, sup? Sup? <laughs> Jeez, don't make it easy. Don't make it feel so awkward already. Just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. Okay. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Uh, anyway, let's do it. Let's go into the kitchen. There's a lot of stuff I'm gonna teach you. Okay, okay, let's start it. Haha. -ha. Let's just start it already. Huh? You get all shower when a girl call you gross. I finally found your weakness, breakfast. <laughs> Please spare my life. <laughs> Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. The icing is still not uh lampy. Are you even trying? Yeah, well, yeah. I will be here all night if you keep doing like this. After it's too imprecise, Natsuki stick her finger into icing and pop it into her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey, I don't want you to cross finger in my icing. Are you the gun who did the, all the work? Don't make me beat the crap out of you next time. I would like to see you try. The force of Natsuki pulling me chase me to crumble, making her stubborn in turn. Gross. You got it on my face. Who's for a start? There is big knobs icing in Natsuki cheek. <laughs> You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead right her finger before shoving her finger forward to my own face. Are we doing a food fight now? But I grabbed the one as well. Ah, we're fighting. Haha, <laughs> stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry I called you gross. What am I doing? In this case, you probably sh shouldn't do this neither. I take Natsuki's fingers and put it into my mouth, licking off the icing. What? Did you seriously just... Her face is entirely red. Brainwashed. <laughs> I still like the name. <laughs> Never get old. You really shouldn't do this kind of things to girl unless you really like them. You know that, right? Um, why am I starting to feel dizzy? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starting to go off. Natsuki reached... Oh, what they often. Is it burning? You let the dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? Ah, come on, you. The fire alarm killed all the mood. God dang it. It gives me an idea, actually. Well, a literature event, right? Oh, yeah, we should write a poem on a cupcake. That's a good one. By writing a different words on each of the cupcake. That's actually a really cute idea, so. Haha! Uh -huh. <laughs> but I need to go home for dinner. Oh. Ah, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working slowly. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. You can come over anytime, okay? I think that, if possible, I would like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Do you really mean that? Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Brainwashed. <laughs> 
I thought you only care about getting this done. I feel like the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly get close to me. Whoa, what the freak? Wait, Natsuki. Natsuki is standing each for me. Uh, Natsuki looked... Uh, looked up at me. I feel a finger generally clutch inside of my... Clutch inside my shirt. As if holding into me. A uh, low scroll cheek and marching my eye. Feeling my situation as long as she slightly uh, parted lipped. What is happening? I felt it for a while now. What does that even mean? Hmm? Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayuri. Oh, Sayuri is here. Oh boy. Nope, I'm stop playing this game. Nope. Nope, I'm out. No, I'm out. No, no. No. No, no. I'm out. Okay, so I'm stopping right here. Because it's been four hours now. I'm really tired. I guess I'm going to continue on for the next video. I don't know what video it is. Because it's been four hours. This is going to be a long video. Okay. So, yeah. This is pretty much it. This is getting a little bit too difficult for me now. So, yeah. All these girls will like me. That's a true thing. So yeah, hope you enjoy all this thing. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. This is so dumb.